This is a public service announcement. We have been receiving reports of new affliction called Fans Toys Fanboys Syndrome, FFS for short. Symptoms include blurry vision. When looking at an X Transbot MMC, Unique Toys KFC Make Toys Offering. Other symptoms include acceptance of a character hole in your collection for extreme amounts of time. Bouts of uncontrollable anger when somebody compliments an X Transbot's figure. Inability to see flaws in a fan's toys figure. Wearing rouge colored glasses when looking at all fans toys figures. Acute diminished wallet syndrome is also accompanied with this. If you catch yourself looking at a Takara figure and saying the words I wish fans toys made that, you might have a problem and need to seek full treatment immediately. There is an experimental cure. You must contact Takara. They have a treatment codenamed MP44 for only $449.99. Yes, you may take part in this experiment. Welcome back to the Tide Hero Hangar. This is Mike, and I hope you found that intro funny, enjoyable. I keep trying comedy out. I keep missing, swinging and missing. I hope this one was a home run. I hope y'all got a kick out of this and enjoyed this. But today I'm here to talk to you about fans, toys, fanboys. And first thing I want to say is this video is all about having some fun and having an a enjoyable discussion. But I'm actually talking about a serious situation. Uh, if you're a fans, toys, fanboy, there's no need to be upset about it or embarrassed or ashamed. Fans, toys is the top third party company out there. In fact, fans, toys rivals Takara, which Takara is the masterpiece market. But, truthfully, Fans Toys isn't perfect, no human's perfect, no company's perfect, and no action figure's perfect. But, Fans Toys delivers a great product. Now, we're going to talk about some of these things, the pluses and minuses of Fans Toys fanboys, because there's pluses and minuses. And then again, like I said, there's no need to get upset or irritated if you are. So we're going to start with a little litmus test here of... Uh, if you truly are a Fans Toys fanboy. I'm going to make a series of statements. And in these statements, they're actually true. I believe them. I'm embellishing them just a little bit. But if it bothers you listening to these next five or six statements, you might be a Fans Toys fanboy. So let's have some fun with this and just follow me on this. First one, I like Toy World's Leia better than Fans Toys Rouge. I have both those figures, so it's not like I am just in denial and don't want to buy Fans Toys Rouge, I have them both. I like the size, I like her aesthetic, and even the face sculpt isn't as, that bad. I mean, people bust on it. I like that one better. The, okay, so you y'all okay still? You're not all sizzling and overflowing now and upset. KFC Ditka looks great on my shelf. So I, I'm looking forward to the Fans Toys Blitzwing. But it's not high on my list because Ditka's fills that slot well for me. It'd be interesting to see what Fans Toys does with it, but it's not as important as say, say I need X Transbot Springer. Oh yeah, let's move into the third one. Ah, X Transbot Springer is going to beat Fans Toys Springer all around. All modes are going to look better. The transformation is going to be smoother, in my opinion, because I have no proof of that. That's just my opinion. But I do like the look of the X Transbots better. And actually, aside from the head sculpt, I like MMC's look better. And I have Fans Toy Springer. Okay, you guys still okay? You guys still okay? I've got a couple more statements here, and then we can get into talking about the rest of this. But uh, DX9 Tyrant is fine. And I actually, after owning it for so long, I prefer the look of it to uh, Fans Toy Sovereign. And I've had the opportunity to buy Sovereign several times for MSRP. Uh, maybe even a little cheaper than MSRP. And I passed. And I don't even feel bad about it. I mean, I, the opportunity just came by not too long ago for me to get it again, and I still passed. Although, it's a great figure. I just don't need two Galvatrons uh, that are that expensive. So, I passed. All right, you still feeling okay? I mean, if your blood's boiling, you're a fanboy. That's for sure. Next one. 
I like the Giga Power Dinobots better. I really do. I mean, they're bigger, they're more massive. They're not quite as tune accurate as uh, fans toys, but they're tuned enough for me, and I like them. And I'm considering actually selling my fans toys Dinobots because I really don't need two Dinobot sets. Are you guys okay still? My last one that might get fans toys fanboys upset is consider selling off Tesla and Spotter. To buy Unicron, which by the way, Spotter's already gone. But anyway, uh, Tesla and Spotter. If you sell those off to buy Unicron, you're definitely not a fan Toys fanboy if you're considered to sell those off uh, to buy Unicron. So anyway, that was a little bit of fun. A litmus test. Do you consider yourself fan Toys fanboy? Now I got a couple of points here that say okay. So that litmus test there was just kind of some more fun. Uh, no offense to anybody, and if you disagree with me on points, well, guess what? That's what being human is. We all have our own opinions and our likes and tastes. I can also have a much longer list of fan toys figures I prefer over everything else, but that's not what this video is about. I'll say, so fan toys, fanboys, they go all fan toys no matter what. They, they, they will protect that Spindrift 1.0 to the day they die. They will not buy the X Transbots Neptune Sea Spray because the 2.0 is on the way out. It says that Neptune is awesome, and I, I still think Neptune's gonna be better than the 2.0 Spindrift. Uh, it just is. I think X Transbots and Fans have rivalry, and I have, I'm have i working on trying to find some more evidence to that, put a video together, and if not, uh, I still put a video together. But my next one here, Fans Toys fanboys pay up to four times the original amount of a figure. So if a figure came out at 100 bucks, they're paying 400 and they're okay with it. And and guess what? Is there something wrong with that? No. There actually isn't anything wrong with it. If you have the money to do it and you're not, you know, putting yourself in financial distress to buy a figure, then that's fine. Do it. Those you want what you feel is the best. There's nothing wrong with that. So I don't have a problem with that. But, you know, it's kind of odd to me you they'll go that far out of the way to, to get a specific figure when there's replacements. You can get a replacement figure that's all almost as good, or maybe in some people's minds better, for like a quarter of the cost. So not giving other companies a chance. So I want to get into the dark side of Fans Toys Fanboys because obviously we're talking about this. There's a reason we're talking about this. And I think that it's the toxic negative comments that continually pop up from these fanboys. And I don't really know why. I've tried to figure out why. I think it's partially because they have spent so much money, have such a big investment in their, their collection. Heads up, I do too. But I have a big investment in my collection also, and it's not 100% fan toys. But they want to defend that. And that's fine. You can defend it all you want. But when you start making negative comments, Towards other people and their decisions and their thoughts and their uh, their their beliefs of other figures and other companies just because it's not fans toys that's when you start crossing a line and I don't think that anyone needs to be toxic in this community there's not a reason to be toxic I make a lot of bold statements I have a lot of beliefs and I just made what six bold statements all right I didn't bash anyone's ideas I didn't try to make someone feel stupid I just shared my opinions and my feelings about a handful of figures. And guess what? That usually gets lots of negative comments. The, the keyboard warriors going crazy at that. And because of, the, of all the loyalty of this company. Another thing I see is when somebody breaks a fan's toys figure, it's never f the, the fault of the design of the of the figure it's never the fault of, uh, of of materials or a QC it's always the fault of the collector according to fans always fanboys and see that that's the kind of stuff it's like it doesn't make sense to me like why would you bash someone like I ex transformed my ex transbots um, figure and it broke on me and I admit a I could have been a little bit more careful i need to slow my transformations down a little bit but i do admit that that the tolerances on x transbots is why mine broke if the tolerances were better on that figure i wouldn't have broke this so openly admit that and i admit that with the fans toys i know that there's problem problematic figures with that the toxic comments that go along with those kinds of issues 
don't help the community, don't help anybody out. So that's kind of what. What's your thoughts on that? And my last comment about fans toys fanboys, which by the way, I'm not here to beat up fans toys fanboys, because I understand why they think like they do and they collect like they collect. But I have a theory that fans toys fanboys do not collect legends figures. I'm curious. I almost want to take a poll on how many people that consider themselves a Fans Toys fanboy that do not collect Legends figures. And here's why. The mentality of this Fans Toys fanboy thing is that it, you want the best of the best. The most premium, high-end product that looks the best, has the best everything. Materials, paint, presentation, everything's the best and top-notch. I'm sorry, but Legends don't fit that. Legends are scaled down versions of Masterpiece, but they are not Masterpiece. They, standing side by side, they are not Masterpiece. They look good, they look great, and they're fun to flip back and forth. And and they look better than anything else that's been made that small to the third party. That's, that's awesome. But I don't think Fans Toys fanboys think Legends figures at all live up to their expectation live up to what they think a masterpiece figure is and that's a theory i've had for a long time but i'm curious what you guys think do you agree with me on these topics did you find this video fun did you find it offensive if you found it offensive that's not what i was going for but leave all that in the comments uh, i'm i'm in here with the discussions like subscribe let's have a great weekend tidarium hanger out